Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi you guys, happy Thursday. It is day 94 wow. of the Quarantine Gardeners. Jeez. We're inching closer to 100 every day. Every day. If you don't know, we're the Quarantine Gardeners. This is our daily video log of us accomplishing projects in our garden while under quarantine. And thank you so much for being here today, you guys, and watching. We really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on our videos. So guys, today we're making an aphid solution, an aphid spray solution, so we can spray some aphids that have popped up on some of our plants in our garden. It's natural this time of year. Everything's planted, things are growing, and the aphids show up. Yep. And they just, they make you so mad. You just, you work so hard and you have these beautiful plants and then all of a sudden, they're a mess. Yep. And sometimes these things are out of our control. Sometimes we might contribute to them and we don't even know we're doing it with not enough watering or some type of care that we should be giving our plants, but we're not for whatever reason. And the aphids come in to take advantage of any opportunity they can when a plant is under stress. So, so today we're gonna show you how to make a homemade spray to spray your aphids if you have them and take care of the problem. Okay, you guys, so for our lab today, you know, I like to say that since I was a science teacher, this is all we need. It's very easy. And I think the main thing for you, make sure you have some kind of spray bottle. We're using a 32 ounce spray bottle and that capacity is important when we're mixing some things. So just to let you know that. And I don't know if you've looked these up online, but we like to keep things really simple. There are a lot of variations, but basically we're using water and dish soap. That's it. Some people add cayenne pepper. Some people like to add vinegar. We don't need to do all that. Oh. Soap and water does the trick every year in our garden. Life's complicated enough, so's gardening. Let's simplify it. Let's keep it simple. The first step is what? I'm gonna put Sean to work again. So we're gonna make this bottle and get this spray all ready to use. So first thing you wanna do is make sure you have your bottle open, take this off. We need to take our half teaspoon measure and get some dish soap and this is just Dawn, whatever. Any dish soap will do. It doesn't have to be Dawn. So guys, normally what we do is we'll do a one to 10 ratio. We'll do one part of the soap to 10 parts water. But today we're gonna try something different where we're gonna take a half a teaspoon of the dish soap to 32 ounces of water. And the 32 ounces is significant because our spray bottle has an overall capacity of 32 ounces. So we've thought, let's fill this up and let's make a solution just in case we need it for the rest of the summer. Which we will. We already need it for several plants. So, okay, first step then is? First step is the to the soap, yep. So, cause we wanna do the soap, get it in there. So I'm gonna measure nicely, slowly, half a teaspoon of soap. I'm gonna drop that in there as best I can. Put that down in there. I'll show you a little hack here in a minute if you want to get all that soap and you're not sure if you got it all. So now we want to get the water into here. But the little hack is, is to take this and just kind of gently stir it in the water. So you get that soap, the excess soap in your teaspoon in the water. Okay, so next step. Next step, you want to get the water in the bottle. Now, Something to consider is, is don't dump as fast as you can the water into the bottle because you're gonna get a lot of suds and that's gonna take up room in the bottle that you really don't have. So you need to pour slowly. A little bit of bubbles, but that's okay. It's gonna happen. So now, Last step is take the top, get it in there, tighten her down. And you guys, this is a great DIY spray. Again, it's super easy. You hardly need any materials and it's safe for your plants. It's safe for pets, it's safe for kids because it's just a household item. It will break down in your garden so it's eco-friendly. This is a great option for DIY and for eco-friendly gardens and it's non-toxic. So we highly recommend. So guys, that's how we make our DIY aphid solution, our spray solution. Hopefully that was helpful to you and you can make something very similar at your house too. And coming up soon, we'll show you how to look for signs of aphid damage. That's a video that we're gonna film in a few days. Until then, make sure to comment or leave your questions below. We love hearing from you. Give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our newest videos. And thank you so much for being here. We really hope that was helpful and we will be back tomorrow with another new project. So we'll see you tomorrow and have a great day ahead. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.